It's the Battle of the Wars today, the Sandpiper or the Sanderling. Two models at Riverland's all new Valencia Park in Port St. Lucie, Florida that are neck and neck by popular vote. Which home will you choose? Hi, I'm Stephanie Huber, broker owner of Huber Real Estate Group of Florida, and I work alongside my husband, Christopher Huber, your trusted realtor and veteran. We are your experienced new home construction specialists along the Treasure Coast of Florida, and today we are here at Model Row at the amazing active adult community Riverland in beautiful Port St. Lucie. We have helped many, many buyers looking to move to Riverland for its amazing facilities and resort style living with beautiful golf cart pathways to take you wherever you need to go. And almost every time when we are touring Model Row and helping decide which is the best home, especially those looking to downsize or stay under a certain price range, two of these homes always seem to battle it out, the Sandpiper or the Sanderling. So today we're going to tour both of these models and we will go over the similarities and differences. And at the end, we are going to vote which home will take home the metal home. Pun intended. <laughs> but first, don't forget to click that like button and hit subscribe so you never miss out on our latest homes and happenings in Port St. Lucie. Let's begin by talking about a few similarities with the Sandpiper and the Sanderling. Both homes are in the Premier Collection at Riverland, offering two bedrooms, two bathrooms with a den and a two-car garage, having similar front exteriors, and coming very close in terms of square footage, 1,752 living square feet in the Sandpiper and a whopping 1,761 in the Sanderling. Both have base prices that are exactly the same, which I'll add in the description below. So here's where you'll ask what makes them different. The answer is the layout and some structural designs and we'll dive further into this as we go into the home. Entering inside, you'll see they both offer a nice long foyer looking towards the back. Over the Sanderling, you have tray ceilings up to 10 foot 2 inches, whereas the Sandpiper does not include tray ceilings, but does go up to 11 feet high, still giving a spacious feeling. Moving on, we'll turn left where both homes appear the same, having the second bedroom towards the front with nice lighting from the impact glass windows. This room is useful for any guests you have staying over, an adequate closet space, or extra storage. It is standard to have carpet in the bedrooms, but you can certainly upgrade if you desire. And also what is nice for guests is a separated hallway to feel as though they have their own privacy and space, where you see here there is a linen closet and a full-size bathroom, each having a vanity sink and bathtub with a full-size mirror and plenty of lighting. The Sanderling model does give you a better idea of what standard design options are included, such as granite countertops. However, in the Valencia Park community, there will be a quartz selection that has been added to their included features. Heading back into the main foyer, you'll notice the Sandpiper has a slightly more direct view through the back sliding glass doors. And then we'll see both homes also have a den to the left with an option to turn into a third bedroom or you can have French doors or pocket doors to have as an office. Walking across the foyer, you'll see both homes have a laundry room, and here you'll see a little difference in the layout. The Sandpiper is facing horizontally, leading out to the garage with the AC unit tucked towards the back, and the Sanderling has a separate hallway leading into the laundry room with a more vertical layout, and ultimately goes out to the garage. Here is where you'll see the bigger differences between the Sanderling and the Sandpiper. The main living area of the Sanderling has a more open kitchen with an island and a longer dining area. Great if you have a longer rectangular shaped dining room table. And the entrance to the primary suite is a bit further towards the front of the living space. The great room is just a little smaller than the Sandpiper, but the main difference here is that there is a nice large set of windows overlooking the back from the great room, where the screened and covered patio is off to the side. In the Sandpiper, you'll notice the peninsula-shaped kitchen, which also still allows for three bar chairs, and the dining area will be situated more towards the front of that living space with a more formal designated area and can accommodate both a circular or an oblong-shaped dining table. The entrance to the primary seat would then be towards the back side of the home. The great room on the Sandpiper has a great view looking directly out at the back patio with the sliding glass doors entering right through the center. All homes at Valencia Park will have a complete screened in porch as an included feature. 
Now, as I just mentioned, you'll enter the primary suites a little differently from each model, but both are facing the rear of the home with nice big windows looking out at the back and are almost the same exact dimensions. Each have ceiling heights of nine feet, two inches, and ample space for a king size bed and nightstands. Each of the models have two separate walk-in closets, one being slightly smaller than the other. And you'll see in the Sanderling, it's going to show you what a standard closet will look like with wired shelving. Whereas the Sandpiper will give you some inspiration having beautiful custom closets that you can always add after closing. Walking into the primary bathrooms, you'll notice the layouts are a bit different in terms of where the showers are situated. They both offer the L-shaped vanities with wall-to-wall -wall mirrors, but in the Sanderling, it is a bit more square-shaped, whereas the Sandpiper, it's somewhat longer, making it feel a bit more spacious. And this sums up the Sanderling and the Sandpiper, both beautiful homes. So if you're still hung up on which one to choose, what we tend to see most people notice is the kitchen layout. Do you prefer a more open kitchen with an island and room to walk straight through to the great room? If so, there's a point for the Sanderling. Or do you prefer glass sliding doors going directly out to the back patio? Then that's a point for the Sandpiper. Maybe you have patio furniture that would fit better for the Sanderling, such as along the back window, as opposed to furniture that you can place more on the end so you can have more room coming out through the sliding glass doors in the Sandpiper. It really all comes down to personal preference, but both the Sandpiper and Sanderling are excellent choices here at Riverland, and the great thing is you can choose to either build in Valencia Walk, which is almost sold out with garden views having lot premiums as low as 6000 or you can build in the all-new Valencia Park with both garden and lake views. Call us at the number on the screen and we can go over the differences between each of the two communities and get you scheduled to come visit and see the model homes in person. So there you have the Sandpiper and the Sanderling available at the all-new Valencia Park and some remaining home sites in Valencia Walk at Riverland. You should see a pop-up at the top right of your screen, so go ahead and cast your vote or leave a comment below with your vote and why you chose the Sandpiper or the Sanderling. If you're interested in learning more about Riverland Community and would like to schedule a tour in person or take advantage of their stay and play option for just $99, you can stay in a beautiful furnished home for two days, three nights with access to all of the amenities. Call us at the number on the screen and we'll be happy to go over any questions you have and represent you as your realtors. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and please like and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest homes and happenings in Port St. Lucie. Thanks for watching.